More than a dozen Russian tanks stuck in the mud during military drills, News 7F. Here's a summary of the article. More than a dozen main battle tanks were stuck in deep mud during drills led by the Russian military in the south of the country. The video, posted by Livomap on Thursday, is said to have been filmed at a military range near the Ukrainian border in the Rostov region. It showed at least a dozen tanks in deep mud and a man in civilian clothes, with the assistance of an excavator, trying to tow one of the combat vehicles. The modernization of the T-72B to the T-72B-3 began in 2010 and included improving the tank's firepower by installing a new fire control system, overhaul each of these old tanks and replace their obsolete engines. The new version of the T-72B-3 is equipped with armor plates on each side at the front of the hull and wire cage armor on the AFT part to increase the protection of the engine compartment against threats from RPG. The developers took into account combat experience in Ukraine, Georgia and Syria. The refurbished and upgraded T-72B-3 is equipped with a more powerful 1,130 horsepower engine, as well as an improved weapon system. The car also received a new digital targeting display system, as well as a rearview television camera. This post received a score of 44,000, with an upvote ratio of 90%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. U.S. officials a week back actually cited the ground being frozen, but soon to thaw as one reason they feared Russia might make a move. Most places have four seasons, Russia has six. And two of them are mud. It's called Rasputisa, also known as General Mud. Ukrainians, bring your super soakers and fire trucks. Who'd a thunk it that swamps would be a natural protection against tanks? Better figure out how to make more. Let the first tank sink then drive a new tank on the top of the old one. 200 IQ play. When I first came here, this was all swamp. Everyone said I was daft to drive my tank on a swamp, but I drove in all the same, just to show them. It sank into the swamp. So I drove a second one. That sank into the swamp. So I drove a third. That burned down, fell over, then sank into the swamp. But the fourth one stayed up. And that's what you're going to get, lad, the strongest tank in all of Ukraine. But I don't want any of that id rather just sing. Stop that. Stop that. You're not going into a song while I'm here. That tank's got huge tracks on land. Let's not bicker and argue about who sunk who. This is supposed to be a happy invasion. Hiccup. Oh go get a vodka. On second thought thought balloon we are delaying the invasion until the lands are dry. Ukraine. Start taking notes. Fella out there with a garden hose, just soaking the shit out of his land. He flashes a smile to the camera and says, probably in Ukrainian, I'm doing my part. Would you like to know more? Ya yeah, gotta shoot em in the thorax. Doogie Hauser. To cannon, all men are equal. Napoleon, blow em apart, Bonaparte. Hold my ale, the light brigade before charging. Bring me my lightsaber. We'll show em what it means to be rebels. General Custer. Agincourt moment. The same thing happened when Germany invaded Russia. Spring and fall make tank warfare practically useless in that region. Within a couple of weeks, Putin's military will be practically useless and will cost Russia a fortune if they remain deployed until summer. Putin is beginning to look senile and indecisive. Honestly, the urgency to invade very soon if at all makes the situation so much more dangerous. Let's hope Putin stays indecisive. He already missed the optimum window. Now it's mud everywhere, and soon foliage will provide concealment for the defenders. He was hoping to make Ukraine surrender without actually invading. Now he can't back out without appearing weak. So he's trapped in a snare of his own design which is why the situation is so volatile because you know what they say about animals backed into a corner. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.